They need a place, a shelter to go to. And when we have a shelter for them, they need to use it. And we don't need to let activists or other interfere with sound, safe, healthy plans for the homeless. Mayor John Whitmire making additional news telling business leaders that Houston's homeless simply do not have the right to camp out on city streets and sidewalks. As you heard, the mayor also appears fully committed to providing a workable alternative for the unhoused. Panel, this is clearly one of those chronic challenges on which we can hope for significant progress if not perfection. Uh, I'm gonna start with you, Holly, because this is a national issue. Yes, it is, and it has to, it, it parallels a, an issue that's gonna come before the Supreme Court this year out of Washington State Grants Pass versus Washington, and whether or not there's a constitutional right to be able to camp in public places. What Whitmire is tapping into is the concern that by allowing this public camping, you can't really help these people who are homeless, and you're placing the general public in jeopardy. When you have these anti-vagrancy laws, then you can push these people into treatment facilities and uh, services that will allow them to get off the streets in a more permanent way. Okay, Marcus Davis, the homeless uh, are in and around one of your primary businesses all the time. I know you have a big heart, uh, but you know, what do you make of what the mayor said? You know, it, it, it's a fine line. Right, it's a fine line between uh, humanity and humanity. Right, you have to have the, the the humanity for the person that's on the street, and you have to have the humanity for the person that are vi that's visiting the businesses and the business owner all at the same time. It's not an easy fix, and I hope that the best practices mm -hmm. will be studied, and I hope that the mayor will implement those practices in order to, benef to benefit everyone that that that's involved. Folks on the streets need need help. And they, we have to help them, and they have to want to have, want to get help. So it, it's not an easy pill to swallow. So this is not a new problem, and it's not going to be completely fixed. It's just not in the human condition, right? <laughs> no, it's very complicated. And I, what I took that the mayor was saying was about the activists is that it wasn't an insult. It was, look, this is our responsibility as a city and a government to do this, not your responsibility. We shouldn't have activists doing this because we should be taking responsibility uh, and coming up with a solution. Yeah, the mayor's talked about, Paul, that homeless had kind of taken over the downtown library mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a shelter place. Thoughts uh, about what you've heard from the mayor? Yeah, so I, I, I know that we get impacted. Our school's right down from Pierce Elevated and mm -hmm. encampments there. And we've had homeless people who we appear to see, you know, as having mental health issues who wander around campus, defecate, you know, in our backyard, um, uh, walk into our fenced in area and we have to push them out. Um, and when we call, you know, HPD being understaffed doesn't respond necessarily really quickly to that. I'm really excited about possibly moving forward and helping those people. We're